further. Is he gonna imitate him in time? Oh! This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Hey everyone, welcome to Elevate Your Power Level, where we analyze the artwork, life lessons, and sports movements from anime. In this video, we'll be reacting to Kuroko no Basket episode 25. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications for weekly reaction videos and sign up below for my Patreon for early access to all my reaction videos. Also, many of you voted that I watched the OVA episode after episode 25, so I'll be posting my reaction to the OVA episode next week. Now let's get this Kuroko party started. Right back into the action. And we got Kisei finally be able to imitate the master. Oh man, look at those animations through those legs. Man, look at that. We got, and you got camera movement. Oh, I wish I could play that in slow motion. Oh, he drew the foul and he made it in just like Aumine. Don't drag your feet. I don't know if that's a metaphor or if he's saying literally don't drag your feet when you're doing that move. And he goes Super Saiyan mode. But then he gets blocked. Duh! Oh, but he blocks. Oh, but then he still makes it. Did that happen last episode or am I just totally forgetful? Our basketball. This title might actually have some type of correlation. I don't even know what the score is. And then interrupting the coach. But he's got that aura burning. I'll crush them. Ooh, he called him you bastard. There you go. I love it that he has teammates that will stand up to him. But then it doesn't help when you got the captain <laughs> and enabling Aumine's egotistical behavior. I didn't know that the guy with the glasses was the captain. But Kisei looks spent. It probably requires so much effort for him to focus to imitate all those those pretty athletic moves. Yeah, but if Kisei can still execute those moves while Aumine fouls out, he might have a chance. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with running during the off days? Maybe he was mad that he felt like he was giving him some attitude. I really like their jerseys, how they have the Asian characters in addition to the alphanumeric character there. I'm sure Awumine is going to adapt, not play as... Oh man, he's just zooming. Oh, look at the intensity of those eyebrows. Oh, we even got a jersey tug from Kisei. Look at those small details. Look at that. Going flowing left. And then Kisei trying to pull his jersey. Very basketball-esque. Yeah, this is really good animation. So fluid. Those sweat drops. Horizontal fadeaway. Oh, man. He's like parallel to the ground. Damn, he still makes it. Oh, that mean, oh yeah, that's right. If he charges too hard, he could get 
That could be his fifth foul. Can Kisei do anything though? Oh, he's trying to do the same Aumine moves. Is he going to do a, an even further? Is he going to imitate him in time? Oh, he does! Damn. Wow. Damn, this guy's a self-learning machine. And Aumine actually looks a little frustrated. Dunked on him. Oh, dunked on him back. We'll see who makes the first mistake. Oh, that was a sick animation. Man, these movements, look at that. Up and around, into it, and then you got the delay swing of the body. So a lot of basketball players, they hang on the rim, not because they're trying to be showy, but you have to let the momentum of your leg swing back to be safe. Otherwise, if you hold onto the rim and you let go too early, your body's just gonna flip and then fall on the floor. But look at that swing here dunk into the leg swing and these extreme upward angles are are beautiful to look at uh oh why is he red did he find a new spot oh did he make it is that a shot that Aumini hasn't done yet oh he does but what's the score? Okay, one minute left. I still don't know who's who. Let's see what the score is. Okay, the two character team is Kaijo. So that's Kisei's team. Okay, they're only down eight points. By the way, that has happened. A shot behind the, the backboard. That has happened in game. Yeah, just to keep up with an incredible team. An incredible athlete, you gotta give more than 100%, 100% of the time. Wait, why did it show one minute before and now it's three minutes on the clock? But let's see if this captain from Tao has anything to add to the team other than enabling Aumine's egotistical behavior. Yeah, that's a really good breathing animation. Not too exaggerated, but just enough to show the whole body moving. Yeah, there's a little bit of, a little bit of anxiety in Aumine's eyes. Ooh, the same eyes? What is he? Do they really have the same eyes? Different shaped eyes. See how Kuroko's eyes are, irises are bigger. Kisei's eyebrows are more downward, but maybe he means the intensity of, of it. Yeah, basketball is rough. You could sprint up and down the court and never even touch the ball. Oh! Loose ball, does Kisei get it? Yes he does! This is their breakaway chance. So there is one minute left on the clock. Time limit. They have to play perfectly, but man, Aumine is already caught up. Is he going to do a move that Aumine hasn't seen yet? Man, slow motion. Turn on those blue and yellow flames. Starting to get a little goose bumpy. Oh, he's trying to predict Kisei's move. And Kisei is going to do the opposite of what he thinks Aumine is going to do. This is a gamble here. Oh, 
Goosebumps are turning on that flame. That's a beautiful flame. Uh oh. Looks like I mean I read it. Oh, he just levitated. That was freaky. There was no downward motion. He just kind of. <laughs> That's a bad animation there. That was funny. What the? Oh, pass? Kasumatsu. Pass for the open shot? Or is he going to do a 360 behind the back? Oh, no! How did Aumine predict that? But he just reacted to it. But. <sighs> Dang. Look, wow. Aumine is breathing heavily. Now it's time for our lunchtime crunch time from our video sponsors, Tokyo Tree and Sakurako. We want to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort at your own homes through our snack boxes. Tokyo Tree is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You will get up to 20 of the latest exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese sake Kit Kats, ramen, and many more. You guys know how excited I get by all the different flavors of Kit Kats that come in the Tokyo Treat Box. And this one is chestnut. Come on, we don't have this anywhere else outside of Japan. And if you're curious if chocolate and chestnut go together, well, here's your answer. It smells delicious, more like a white chocolate here. Mmm, definitely has like a vanilla tone and then hints of chestnut at the end. And you also get the crunchiness from the actual Kit Kat, which makes it taste even more like chestnut. Now we'll try these mint chocolate pebbles. Pretty minty. Mm, very crunchy. Wow, and the mint definitely hits you at the end. It's a very fascinating texture, and the cool thing is they actually do make it look like pebbles. Almost looks like you're eating a rock. And I think that's the purpose. And now for the full moon rice cracker. I love Asian rice crackers, especially the ones that come in the Tokyo treat boxes. A little bit of soy sauce flavor, so it's probably gonna be salty with a touch of sweetness. We'll see. Mmm, and I'm always a huge crunch. The nice thing about this one is it's extra toasty. Sakurako is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box. Sakurako is supporting local Japanese snack makers where each box comes with 20 traditional authentic and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. One of my favorite part about the Sakurako boxes is they always come with a delicious, flavorful tea oftentimes a really great green tea. And this is the Hatamugi tea. So I'm gonna get this going and start brewing this guy as I am trying the other snacks and then gonna wash it down with the tea. This one's called the Full Moon Soft Chew. I love how all of these snacks are in the theme of the Moon Festival. Look how cute these guys are. It's got a little rabbit on each one. Another great thing about the Sakurako boxes is they do come with a tableware every single month and I've been collecting these. And for this month, I decided to make an actual sampler platter with all the snacks that I'm gonna taste on this tableware and then taste them afterward. But first up, I'm gonna put our Full Moon Soft Shoes. Look at that, two on. We're also gonna try this strawberry white chocolate snack here. Number two, and I'm really looking forward to this one, black sesame mochi. So soft, so fresh. And we got item number four. And to top it all off, gonna put the full moon cookie on the tableware. So unfortunately, I think I broke it in trying to open it, but look at that beautiful print. Look at that sampler platter, ready for the full moon festival. And now I can't wait to try each one. Soft chew. Everything you expect from a lightly sweetened, chewy candy, but it's not overly sweet. And now for the strawberry. Ooh, that one was super surprising. I knew it was gonna be good, but it hits you 
with a concentrated strawberry flavor right from the get-go. Now I'm gonna eat the cookie next. Like an egg dough sweet cookie. This is really yummy. I'm gonna take a little break and wash it down with some Hatamugi tea. Has a good hint of the toasted rice flavor too. And I saved my favorite for last, the mochi black sesame here. Mm, as delicious as I thought it would be. Very soft, chewy, fresh, even though it traveled from overseas and such a rich black sesame flavor. That one's probably my favorite snack out of all of them. Say hello to autumn. Japanese people will start this season by celebrating Tsukimi, the Japanese moon viewing festival, a centuries old tradition that is a time to appreciate the beauty of the autumn moon and to give thanks for the harvest. There are many ways to celebrate Tsukimi such as going to temples to pray and make offerings, or having picnics outdoors under the moonlight and eating traditional tsukimi foods such as tsukimi dango and mooncakes. Tokyo Tree and Sakurako invite you to celebrate tsukimi together with our special tsukimi designed snack boxes filled with delicious Japanese tsukimi themed snacks. Perfect for enjoying under the moonlight with your friends and family. If you want to try your own authentic Japanese snacks, then use my discount code and link below to get $5 off your first order of Tokyo Tree and Sakurako. And you can enjoy your snacks as we watch Kuroko no Basket together. It's also a great gift for a family member or a friend and a great way to support this channel. That was a sick moment, man. That sucks. Now we get to see Aumine can also adapt on the fly. If it had been one on one, ah, trusting somebody else to d get the job done. Ah, so he read body language, so he predicted behavior. That's what that ice breath was. Ah. Well, the fact that Aumin is teaching Kisei is going to make him better. But there's still time. I mean, they could, they could come back crazy. It can't just be Kisei. Maybe the rest of the team's already hustling back and. <laughs> so much violence in these anime. So many teammates punching each other. It ain't over till it's over. Fast break, if they just do a quick fast break, couple of threes. Oh no, a steal. Oh. Tau I was just looks like they're just rolling over them. But this is just too much tension building up. Interesting, you are weak and relied on your teammates. So maybe that's what he means by our basketball, like he says, I don't mean style plus, oh yeah! Blocking the fireball. As long as we lose together as a team. But the fact that Kisei knows he can keep up with Aumine now. Oh, is he gonna challenge him on the dunk? Oh, dang, he dunks on him. Does he stare him down afterward? 
when they land when they're laying on the ground and someone dunks on you and like straddles you and looks down at you we gotta watch that was there are some amazing animations in this one look at that 360 bam and the music is so well synchronized that electric guitar going crazy That whistle blowing on the score just reminds me of Haikyuu when like the team wins. You just hear it, an empty, empty gym and a whistle. And everyone's just in disbelief. Even the coach is amazed at what Aumine just did. Poor guy. I'm curious what Aumine's response is seeing Kisei struggle. Is he going to help him up? If he helps him up, that's going to add a lot of depth to Aumine's character. Like if he helps him up, but then Kisei waves him off. No, I wish Aumine would have helped him up. That would have just made Aumine's character just more complex. Oh, what a good senpai. Ooh, a little emotional there. Oh, he's crying too. <sighs> that hits home, man. When, when you give everything you had. Damn, this guy's... Brutal cutthroat. Nothing to say to a loser. They did a really good job, like animating some of these emotions here. Like his face doesn't look exceptionally sad. It just a little flat and a little concern of the eyebrows, not just like an obvious sad. Just some concern. And that's a success in itself. Giving everything you had. Yeah, I, want, I really, really like to to kind of listen into what's going on in Aumine's head after that game. The first time he's probably been challenged. And really push Aumine to just try harder. Oh, okay, that, that's, that's pretty scary. An even higher level. This is like some super boss where you're gonna have to take all five miracles to beat one super miracle. What's that say? What he didn't do it this time, he probably couldn't do. Uh, I don't understand that. Oh, uh, maybe soft spot that he didn't completely destroy Kisei. Kasumasu, I think that's the captain. Oh. I remember one of my most painful losses in my high school career. It was our senior night, which is our very, actually no, not our senior night, it was playoffs. And we lost to a team that we beat both times during league. And if we beat that team, we would have made it to the championship match. And that would have been the first time ever for our senior year. And we just got too relaxed. And we let a team that we beat all the time get ahead of us. And by the time we realized what was going on, they beat us 3-0. 
and in volleyball, we play best of five games. I remember that was probably the first time I actually teared up after a game because then you, you realize that your season's over. You just feel so helpless. So I can definitely relate to just crying in the locker room. We got some dramatic piano music. So maybe this the tournament's over and everyone's preparing it's next season. And we still haven't seen this new senpai's skill. Yes, always move forward, keep practicing. <laughs> that is, look at that, that is strange. He, he's not just slapping, he's just pulling his cheeks wide. Let's watch that again. <laughs> he looks like a frog when he pulls his, his face wide like that. So... Is this the end of this season tournament and then they get take a break and then there's another seasonal tournament that they prepare for? <laughs> That's a weak disguise. That's funny. Just because you wear sunglasses. That's right. Well, I mean, they can make full court shots too. Oh, there's the little husky. Who is that? That looked like a guy. There's always a player who's two meters tall. Maybe he's eating some Tokyo treat snacks? Yosen. Have we met all the generation of miracles yet? <laughs> he's gonna send the dog in to investigate. Kuroko is actually working on shooting now. Yes, after I watch a game too, I feel pumped up and want to practice and get better. I like how said Kuroko said, I am heating up <laughs> with such a straight place. Yeah, people can change a lot in one or two years. Ooh, look at that. You see how they went to Kagami first as maybe he's like the sixth unknown generation miracle and then they went to Aumine. So we haven't met the other ones. I think there's five total. The man who eats junk food. Akashi. Do not recognize him. Murasaki Bara. Akashi. I need to practice their names now. The music's getting so intense. What's he running away for? Oh, getting some more practice. That was some not very good animation, but they saved the best animators for the playing scenes. I 
really like this ending scene. Or sorry, not the ending scene, the ending music. Is it new or do I just stop it early? Those basketball scenes were so intense that I actually didn't even stop the video to provide any analysis. I think I replayed some really great animations, but I usually stop and give some commentary every maybe two or three minutes, but I was just so into that scene and it just kept getting more and more and more and more intense and it reminded me of those volleyball games from Haikyuu where just when you feel like it was already intense enough from episode 24, they continue to just add another layer and just the, the moments where they move fast and then they pause when the, they like touch the ball at the same time or, or when they're about to make a big change of direction. And I couldn't predict what was gonna happen. I think Aumine reading what was going on, not just having fast reactions, because I thought that was just gonna be it, like he's just a super athlete and he can react really quickly. But what's special about Aumine is that he can read what's going on and he saw what Kisei's eyes were doing before Kisei was about to pass it to his partner. So definitely learning more about why Aumine is so great. And one thing that I'm thinking as to what's so special about Aumine is that Midorima, Kuroko, and even Kagami, like they all have, and Kisei, I'm putting Kagami in the Generation Miracles, even though he's not officially part of that high school, the middle school team, but they keep referencing him as like one of the special talents. I think, you know, Kagami has special jumping ability, Kisei is a great imitator, Kuroko is a great passer, and Midorima is a great shooter, and Aumine seems to have all of those. He's like the super mutant that has almost like Thanos, like he has all the rings, and it's gonna take a whole team of Avengers to be able to defeat Aumine. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen in the next season, I think it's season two, or at least the next chapter of this anime. And I'm actually curious what the OVA episode's about, and maybe it'll make sense as to why many of you requested that I wait until after episode 25 to watch it. So we'll see you in the OVA episode.